Welcome back to the Rowdy Studio. I am still Buzz Cutler. That is still Bass Masters. But you know who is still not the NASCAR Sprint Cup champion? Jimmy Johnson. The streak has ended at five. He Officially. Ma- he is mathematically eliminated from being your champion. Um, so is it the end of the, an era? Uh, I think it is kind of the end of an era. I mean, five in a row. This He's really defined this period of NASCAR racing. How could he not? Uh, and this is... It had to come to an end. We were just kind of trying to time out when it would come to an end, and this happened to be the year he's officially eliminated. And I think you got to just tip your hat to what that team and what we're just salute, if you prefer, with no, your left hand. Was, I mean, I that was know. a tip of the hat. Okay, I didn't see a hat, so it confused it me. It was mime. Oh, <laughs> mime over matter. That's great. Uh, anyway, I think you got to tip your cap to those guys. What they've perf- done, what they've achieved, and sort of Phoenix. You know, it was like the Hendrick cars weren't good. Jimmy wasn't really a factor, and they just kind of. You know, they just, they're not in the mix this year, and that's just the way it is. Um, they kind of came back at the beginning of the chase after a rough start, ran off some good races there. But, you know, at the end of the day, they just didn't have it. And when you look at what Carl Edwards and Tony Stewart are doing, how they're performing at every track, the teams are on their game. The drivers are on their game. They're totally in sync, competing for wins. That's what we've seen from Jimmy Johnson for five straight years. You know, and to find that, to, to achieve that level of excellence, to be like on it at every kind of track as a team, as a driver for five straight years is ridiculously good. It is amazing. <laughs> and here is my uh, my prediction, and I'm going to guess you will agree with me. I do not think that Jimmy Johnson will end his NASCAR no. career with five championships. I think that he could easily tie Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s mark of, te- of seven championships and perhaps even exceed it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I don't think that this team has necessarily lost a step. I think we did see a, a mini comeback uh, being staged in this chase for the championship championship and Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss are still a formidable duo they uh, as you said their accomplishments over the past five years are breathtaking and that doesn't just go away no I do believe the 48 will have more than five championships before Jimmy Johnson retires you know I agree and here's one other thing you know I think Jimmy had that start at Chicagoland where they had the fuel issue and he finished 10th and he was able to come back from that even though he had a bad finish at New Hampshire he was able to come back get back in the mix with runs at Dover and Kansas Uh, we get to Charlotte Charlotte, and I think that last move where he wrecked near the end of the race at Charlotte, and he had a race-winning car, a car that was probably good enough to win there. I think that mentally, after five years of being on the chip, mentally, at some point, you just kind of have to give in to, you know, this isn't the year. And I, and I just wonder if mentally they finally had to just deal with that feeling of, you know, it's not going to happen for us this year, no matter how much they wanted the streak to continue. Just mentally, you know, you have to get worn out, I would think, after a a championship run of that length. Yeah. Or or just, you know, sometimes the the cards just don't fall your way, you know? You're you're not going to win them forever. Exactly. All right, Bassmasters, Buzz Cutler, thanks for watching. Check back here for more videos on NASCAR racing. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.